But you're just thinking the nest. You're not thinking about the tree. Why? That ain't something to be so happy about when you look at the world from a broader perspective. Number one. The number one educated person means you guys are integrating into the workforce at a higher rate. You're coming out of school in debt. That's part of the hustle. Mm -hmm. America's number one uh, uh, lender of money is China. So who's paying that money back with the workforce and the taxes generated? Black women. You have become the number one debt slave in America, and yet you judge a man because he won't join you. Oh. I'm just saying, three two three nine six five sixteen hundred. Brandy, nice. go in. There have been so many, <laughs> so, so many um, places that I wanted to go over the course of this conversation, so i um, kind of got to get my bearings straight again, but here we go. <laughs> I think that one thing that we're missing here... Um, what have we missed? The thing that we've missed in this conversation <laughs> is that there's been, a, and you know I'm going to go here, and I'm probably about to piss all the men off right now. I but, love you, Brandy. Come on. But there's been a whole lot of shit heaped on the shoulders of women in this yeah. conversation. Yeah. And you said earlier, Zoe, you said, uh, you know, you want men to come along with your empty thinking when we're not thinking that way or something to that effect. Well, if you if you're not thinking that way. You also have to do your part in the family unit, too, in the re-education of us, too. Agreed. It is a co it's a collaborative effort. Agreed. And, yes, there are many men, women out there that make mistakes and don't even know that they're making them. I am probably one of the bigger ones myself. Um, you know, and I accept are. that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's how Absolutely. you get there. That's how you uh -oh. get there. The promise but looks like a C <laughs> in your future. Yeah, listen, I, ahead, I, I, re I reject your grading system. <laughs> I, will not, I will not be integrated into your line of thinking and into your educational program. It's like a C coming along um, after Miss Bear. Huh? But, but this isn't just, you know... If, if men, you can't complain about what women are doing right and wrong if you're just going to sit back and complain about what women are doing right and wrong. That's true. Right. Nobody's perfect in this in this Absolutely. thing. And in, in order for us to all move forward, we have to all work together and stop turning the fingers outward and start turning them inward. And Absolutely. then... And then we like need to it. grab each other by the hand like and figure it. out how we can make it all work how together. I love it. We, yes, that's we. beautiful. So that's, that's beautiful. been, usually when I'm over here sitting making grumpy faces, it's not because I want to beat the man up. <laughs> You know, it's usually because I just want to hug you and hold you and oh, say, how Jesus. can we work this out? Let's, let's set right. up an you know, you know, Jesus. <laughs> Go ahead, Tony. <laughs> you know, my mom used to always say, when you lay down with dogs, you usually get fleas. And, Ooh. and... And one of the things that I think society plays into when it comes to females is the whole emotions to logic thing. And what I'm saying is, is that women use logic, women use emotions to replace logic, whereas men use emotions as a release to logic. Hmm. And so Interesting. Go my deep. mom used to always tell me that if, you know, if, if you're like, say, like you're arguing with your girl. Don't argue with her because she's she's using your emotions to replace logic, which means that she doesn't want you to have a solution at that time. She just wants to vent. She wants to feel she's feeling. But you need. To, but as a man, I understand that at that moment, I'm not losing. And as men, we need to understand that when a woman is being emotional, we're not losing. Wow. Because there's no solution. Nobody's coming up with an answer. Interesting. Interesting. Veronica? Yes. Speak I wanna, to what Tony I'm going to take it I'm going to take it a little bit deeper. Well, I'm okay. with D. Let's go. I'm with D so, too. So uh, the man's positive if we I'm going to start talking about things a little bit in the context of energy because this is an energy world that we live in mm, and absolutely. melanated people have more energy than anybody on the planet. That's why they hijacked our energy. Because out of our chocolate skin and our kinky hair, our DNA spirals, we actually are the most powerful manifestors on the planet through our melanation. And it's an energy world. And so if you play the woman out of pocket on energy, then you play the world out of pocket and you gain control. Yes. So a woman, the man's positive polarity is his genitals. And the woman's positive polarity is her heart. 
Right. And that's the essence of yin and yang, right? Yin and yang symbol, they they, they both feed each other, right? Mm -hmm. So the problem with most women, and I'm not saying this from a context of blame, I'm saying this because most people on the planet don't know that this phenomenon exists, and we're walking around at the effect of it. So a woman... It typically, because of all of the things that she has taken into her nervous system, all of the, the, the disappointment, the fear, the shame around her sexuality, the shame around mm. her intelligence, mm. all of the places where she's been shut down is almost like lead. Mm -hmm. It's like a lead case. So in other words, it is her nature, her heart chakra is actually the essence of love. But when she has been had so much negativity deposited into from men that aren't interacting with her in any right consciousness, from the, from the larger culture, then you get this encasement of lead. And what happens? Instead of coming from her true love, she begins to manipulate to get love, mm. not remembering that that's who she is. Mm. And so, mm. when, so and what's been missing... And so that, that part of her that's love, that is tender, that is precious, that is vulnerable, that's the thing that men are missing that they are longing to protect, mm -hmm. but they can't access Absolutely. it anymore. When women demonstrate that to them, she doesn't have to nag him or yell at him. She doesn't got to do nothing. He will, what did, what did, what did Mr. Morton say? Uh, he will, he will um, cater to her mm -hmm. because she is a demonstration of her love. So we have Absolutely. to begin to do the deeper work the subconscious work, the mm -hmm. reprogramming, the energetic work. A man has got to be able to stand powerful with a woman in his masculine energy and let her burn off all of that toxic gunk that sits around her that stops her from being able to be exactly who she is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Thank you, Veronica. <laughs> wow, we got other callers. Mm -hmm. Huh? Got you, got you. Listen, we got to take a quick break. But when we come back, we're going to the phone lines. I urge you, if you want to participate in this show, if you want to participate, call me right now. 323-965-1600. I'm taking all callers. I mean, it's been a lot of heavy information that's been laid out. If this don't make you better, you might be retarded. <laughs> we'll be back at 2.2. So what? I mean, <laughs> the voice of reason. We'll be back in a minute. Holla. <laughs> uh, I would like to, for a moment, ask you some questions about the economics of job getting in terms of the blacks versus the whites. The statistics I was able to pull together indicate that at the present time, white males make $17,427 on an average basis for the year. Black males make 12738 White females make 10244 Black females make 9476 It is clear from these figures, as indeed I think it's clear to most of us from what we see, that there is a discrimination against blacks and against women in our present system. Since not all blacks will be superior, how would you try to even that out so that there would be some equality of job opportunities? Yeah, I, I'm sorry you missed the earlier part of the program when I pointed out that uh, where you find uh, people not represented evenly, that does not show the institutional effect because almost nowhere in human affairs do you find people evenly represented? Well, if, you, if you compare comparable people with respect to age, with respect to education, etc., you get a totally different picture, both with respect to blacks and women. Now, the figures that I saw, for example, show uh, more recently that if you take black families where the husband and wife are both college educated and compare them to white family where the husband and wife are both college educated, the black family is now earning $2,000 a year more. The problem is not, the problem is that very few blacks fall in that category. That when you compare category for category, then we're talking about getting people a decent education. I'm saying that you cannot say that numbers collected at the employer's place of business reflect simply the employer's policies. Those, num those numbers reflect underlying conditions in the whole society, just as numbers collected at the hospital do not show you that the people are sick because they're in the hospital. No, oh, I, I would agree with that. But you would also have to agree that, generally speaking, women are paid less, for example, for the same jobs as men. No, I would not. I would not agree with that. If you're talking about women with the same number of years of experience, with the same continuous service, et cetera, et cetera, then when I look at that, I don't find that disparity. I find, for example, in many cases, the women are making more, depending on how you break the data down. The difference with women is between, is between married women and everybody else. That's the real difference. 
Well, even as to single women, the Census Bureau statistics, the most recent ones I could find, 1978, say that single men are earning $11,100 and single women are earning $9,300. Yes, I love the word single that is used. When I did my study, I didn't use single, I used never married. You see, a woman who is single at age 40, having spent 10 or 20 years raising children, is really not quite the same as a man at age 40 who's been working continuously for 20 years. Uh, yeah, they were earning more than the men. And similarly, when the government did data some years ago on women who had been working continuously since high school into, the thir into the, their 30s, uh, there you found that they were making slightly more than men of the same description. So the difference is between married women and everybody else. And married men get an extra bonus because their wives take care of many things that enable them to put more time into their careers. I'm sure you're aware of the fact that there are approximately 15% of all homes in which there is only one wage earner. So that when you talk about women being able to take care of things for their married mate wage earner, the fact is that in the overwhelming majority of American homes, the women also work. And therefore, I don't think your explanation that women have other responsibilities and that that's why work, they are... Work can mean part-time work or full-time work. Women do not work full-time to the same extent that men. Part-time workers make less than full-time workers. Well, if he didn't take off from the free throw line and do a 360-degree blindfold between the legs dunk <laughs> on George Washington's mama, <laughs> I don't know what happened. This dude just smacked the Kool-Aid out of her mouth again. Oh, my goodness. Stats can be twisted. And every time she tried to make a case... For some agenda, listen, Krishnamurti, my favorite philosopher, says, it is conceptual thinking that keeps men separated. If you look at the planet Earth from a satellite's view, you don't see borders. Right? Right. Listen, to be a blood and a crip, you have to have different social game rules. There have to be ideological borders and constructs that make you a blood versus a crip. Mm -hmm. That makes you a Democrat versus a Republican. That makes you a feminist versus a hymenist. Do you, do you understand? There has to be ideological. This is why I say women are fucking whores to ideas. And they try to make men fit the template. No! I'm not going to live up to your idea. Who are you fucking, me or the idea of me? And when the idea of me isn't met, am I now worthless to you? Wow. Come on. 323-965-1600. Call her. Anthony. You're in the building. Talk to me. Oh, man. I got a lot going on again today. I called y'all probably about two weeks ago. I talked to Margo and all them about feminism. I'm calling again today talking about what I got going on now. Um, number one, the biggest problem here is that we have a lot of elaborate solutions to simple problems. Like, what's going on is we're trying to have all these different things about energy, a lot of different things, but the primary issue is that women are trying to actually replace the men in the house. When the man is not there, he's been removed. It's a void that's left. The universe is going to want to balance that in some kind of way. So what happens is the woman, she now becomes a man. When she has kids in the house, the woman is going to raise the daughter to be just like her. So Anthony, wait, wait, Anthony, her. let me let me let me interrupt you for a second. That the video was Thomas Sowell. That was the brother who was breaking down the uh, the the feminist and racial aspects of what's going on. What you just said is interesting in that. I don't think women are actively trying to replace the men. What I do think is, as I said earlier in the show, the system is set up and women play the game. They will build from whatever materials you provide them with. So I don't think they actively go out and say, okay, I want to replace the man, but based off of the social construct in which I live... I'm going to build with whatever materials are provided to me. Again, just as simple. Where were you born? Where were you born, Anthony? You said what now? Where were you born? Charleston, West Virginia. Charleston, West Virginia. I'm sure you were brought up in the Christian faith at some point of your life, right? 
That's correct. Exactly. If you were born in Saudi Arabia, you'd be a Sunni. If you were born in Iran, you'd be a, 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 um, a Fatimid, right? right? Or a Shia. That's what you would be based off of the social game rules of the place you're born. So, again, sisters in America are born with a particular set of game rules. One, this is how I look at sisters. Did you have your mommy and your daddy? I look at that. Were you from a broken home? Was there issues between mother and dad? Because that's a part of her psychology. Did you go to college? If so, which one? What did you study? Next, what's your religious belief? When you start to compile all of the software that she's using to create the perspective she has, you can then have a better understanding of who she is only on the surface. Absolutely. Not energetically, not spiritually. So there aren't uh, any wrong answers here, but we don't want to marginalize the unconventional answer for the one that's obvious. Thanks for the call. Appreciate what you said. Good stuff. Uh, caller, you're on the line. Let's go. Oh, no. Hey. Hi, Joe. Hey. hey have a good day. You go, girl. <laughs> good luck at Chris, though. We appreciate Don't you. Don't get fired. Do we have another caller? Huh? Oh, oh Veronica. Radio. Veronica, come back in and add some context and clarity to what's happening here, please. See, the th I, I, it's interesting that people think that the solutions are so complex. And and yet, and what it, um, we have a lack of awareness in general about the complexity of what the construct has been. In other words, if the people that are trying to control you have invested money, resources, the media, the church, right. the wedding industrial complex, the beauty industrial complex, if we all of the, the prison industrial complex, if they've invested all of that against you. Then what makes you think that digging oneself out of this should it be overnight? Mm -hmm. It's just it, because we have to understand where we really are first. The solutions are not that difficult, but they're radical. Because in order for a woman, for example, to restore to her natural state, she's going to have to give up some ideas about who she thinks she is, yes. some ideas that she holds dear to, her, to herself right. and her identity that have been trained into her. It's not hard. It's not difficult. It's, it's really how attached is she to what she believes is true. 